morning. Uh, been promising to do an army worm video here for a while, but I really need to get on this because more than likely you might have them. <laughs> so hold on, I'll explain it. Hey guys, funny little story. One of our viewers said, uh, Doc, I put down the organic chicken feed and I've got birds that come into my lawn now. And I was like, dude, I've never had birds come into this chicken feed ever. Never seen them come into it. I said, you might want to go out and check for army worms. I'll put up our little conversation. <laughs> and he went out and he tested, he used my soap method. He went out and tested and he said, dude, you're right. He said in about three foot area, I had like 20 army worms come up. So he went out and treated. Luckily, he listened to me. He has the Bermuda Lawn Guide, so he knows what to do. And he also has the double kill product on hand because you need to have it on hand so that you can react quickly with this. So in the description below, I'm gonna link to the double kill, I'll link to everything I'm talking about today, and I'll link to the Bermuda Lawn Guide. Army worms are not like grubs. They're not here all the time, typically. Army worms, especially, they sort of migrate with moss. So if you see some white moss in your lawn flying around or a little tan moss, uh, there's a good chance that you'll probably have army worms and they do a migration process. The moth goes into your lawn, lays eggs, those eggs hatch, little army worms come out, and then it goes through a life cycle. That life cycle is about 28 days. So you generally have to do this twice. The first time is when you detect them, and then the next time is about 28 days later, then you'll be all set. How do we detect them? If you have birds coming into your lawn, especially early morning, and at sunset, good chance you have army worms, you're gonna go over and detect them. If you see some weak areas in your lawn, you might wanna check. Army worms are called army worms because they move across your arm, uh, move across your lawn like an army. That's exactly why. And they don't kill your lawn, they just eat, they just start to eat it. So the way that we detect it, we take a five gallon bucket, we put a little bit of, we put one teaspoon of Dawn in a five gallon bucket of water. We go to an area, we flood that area slowly and we watch. Army worms will pop up. You'll see them and you'll freak out, of course. So what's the next step? So the next step is to do a two-step process. Army worms do not live in the ground. Army worms live in the thatch layer. So that nasty thick layer right above the ground. That's where the army worms reside and live, especially during the heat of the day. Early morning, late at night or late in the evening, they come out and they eat your grass. So we put down a two-step process. We put down the double kill product. The double kill is a DG particle, so it breaks apart real quickly. We come out, we put down the double kill, we run our irrigation system for about five minutes or we just spray it lightly. We just want to get it just wet. That'll dissolve it and that'll get it into the thatch layer. The next step, we're going to take permethrin, and I'll put a link to this. This is I love permethrin because it's really safe around dogs. If you have cats, you're not supposed to use it, by the way. But they actually use this on livestock, on animals. They actually use this on dogs sometimes to treat for fleas, but don't do that without, I hate to say that, but. Uh, so I really trust this around my dogs and that's why I like it. We're gonna put 0.8 ounces, 0.8 per 1,000 square feet. And what we're gonna do, now, if you wanna put that into a tank sprayer, you can, what I do, is I take a hose end bottle. This bottle, if you just do a light mist spray, will treat about 2,000 square feet. So you're gonna put uh, 0.8 twice in here. So that's roughly about three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of permethrin, then fill this up with water. And then if you wanna add maybe a teaspoon of, of green dye or blue dye, just, just to make sure that it's coming out. That's the key. We don't put dye in there to color our lawns. We put dye in here to actually see a little bit of a green color coming out. Uh, it won't color your lawn. You can spray it on your concrete. If you put one teaspoon in here, it's not gonna color anything. It has no coloration. It's just for that visual. It gives you a little bit of a green color coming out. And you just walk around, just do a light mist. Remember, we're not trying to necessarily soak this. This is a, this is a foliar application. So we, then we mist this. Now you wanna make sure you don't have any storms coming by too on this process. So at sunset, Come out, double kill. Water, water, water. Come out here, spray this lightly on, and now you've got a two-step process. The army worms will come up out of the thatch layer and they'll start to eat the grass. They'll come in contact with the permethrin 
and they'll die. After they're done, they go back into the thatch layer, and now you're going to have the double kill in the thatch layer, and it'll kill them in there. The next morning, you're going to have dead army worms everywhere. Just going to warm you. The beautiful thing about the double kill is that it also kills a bunch of other pests. It kills ants. It kills ticks. It kills fleas. It kills all the ticks that carry Lyme disease, by the way. Um, it's going to kill grubs. So if you have a grub problem, especially in the fall, putting this down is a great way to do this because you're also going to be treating for grubs at the same time. It kills a whole bunch of nasty stuff out here. And because you're wetting it down, it's going right into the thatch layer and it's safe for the dogs to go on top of. I don't worry about it. As long as I'm wetting it down, get it into the thatch layer, I'm done. Real important to watch for your army worms, have the right product in stock, after you've treated for this, you're going to just leave it alone for about two or three days. Just let it do its stuff. Um, if you want, you can actually come back after about two or three days and re-wet the duo side and it'll sort of double, it'll sort of reactivate the, the double kill. After you've treated for your army worms, come back, put a light coat of PGF complete, re-stimulate the lawn, it'll grow back. You should be nice and happy. Don't forget, uh, the Bermuda Lawn Guide has the Bermuda Lawn Guide, covers every subject that we talk about, including army worms, and it has the Bermuda calendar in it, and that's real important. We're going to be updating that for next year, too, same website. I'll put a link below, and I'll have some new updates with some really cool new products um, that we're coming out with, too. Anyways, have fun with your army worms. Got a bunch of stuff. Jess is coming over. we got a bunch of work to do today. Talk to you later. Doc.